All right, let's make a really big latte. We're gonna use a heat exchange boiler machine. This is the Elba 3 by 969.coffee, handmade in Italy, uh, truly a best value in a heat exchange machine. Basic recipe for this is a double shot of espresso, and I'm gonna be using this Carraro uh, Crema Espresso. Uh, very affordable coffee, roasted in Italy, really goes well with milk, uh, definitely worth a try. Um, so it's gonna be a double shot, two ounces, that's about 60 milliliters of espresso with the crema, give or take. Um, 10 ounces of finely frothed milk. I'm gonna use this cup right here. Um, about the Elba 3 here. So heat exchange machine, E61 group, so really good temperatures. Now it's not a PID machine, so you do generally need to flush this machine before you pull a shot. I'll show you what that's all about. Over here we got the gauges again for uh, boiler pressure and brew pressure. Brew pressure on this machine is adjustable. Outside of the machine there's a little hole in back where you stick a screwdriver and it can change the brew pressure. Really no reason to do that, but you can if you want. Um, so for my double shot, I'm using the stock basket here. Um, I know if I fill this, I'm gonna get about 18 grams of coffee here, and I wanna be as consistent as possible. That's one way now. A lot of people, and I often do, weigh my uh, grind. And I know I'm gonna be within about half a gram. Uh, again, 64 millimeter Chiato E5P, beautiful grind. Just press and hold the button here. I'm just gonna slightly overfill the uh, portafilter and then level it off. And that should be good, look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful grind. Distributes right into the center um, of the filter basket. Nice and fluffy, not a clump. You, want, you, know, you really want a clump-free grind for the best espresso. So I'm just gonna level that off. Over there, sacrifice a little coffee to the gods there, as I like to say. Um, now, I'm gonna use, you could tamp this. Um, it's 58 millimeter, uh, but I'm gonna use this. This is a jack leveler, I really like this. I, I use these almost exclusively now. It's adjustable depth, um, and I like this one. I chose that one because it goes kind of with the wood trim here on the Elba 3. So these are super easy to do, and it's gonna make you really, really consistent. So you just set it in and spin, and you're gonna get a nice, flat, consistent tamp, and that's really important when making an espresso. And you just spin till it's free, and you get a nice, flat, perfectly flat, even tamp, good distribution every time. Now, you can tamp after this if you want. I don't find it's necessary um, to do that. It compresses the coffee enough. Now, on this machine, again, it's a heat exchange machine, so it's been sitting for a while, or depending on your usage pattern, um, you do want to flush this machine just a little bit, and that just means re raising this lever, and you can see it also gets off the old coffee. So until you know you don't see any overheated water, you hear gurgling or or even see a lot of steam coming out. So just do that. I'm going to block in my porta filter. Now I'm going to fill my pitcher here. It's a 12 ounce pitcher, about 350 milliliters, and I'm going to fill it to just just above where the spout starts. That's going to get me the amount of milk I need. I just know that from experience. When I pour, I'm using cold milk and going just a little bit above that spout. Try not to get a lot of large bubbles in there to start. Okay, so when you go to steam milk, you always wanna purge your wine, so there's always gonna be a little residual moisture in there, some condensation, and that's it. Now, I know from experience using this machine, making this drink, that I, so I can brew and steam at the same time, but if I start brewing and start steaming about the same time, they're both gonna finish about the same time. Um, so they're gonna be much more efficient here, and unlike a single boiler, there's no cooling down afterwards, very easy to do. So I'm gonna get my shot going. And for steaming, I take that tip just below the surface of the milk. I'm gonna get a little air going in there, here in the little rips, just initially, till the outside of the pitcher starts to warm. Milk stretching out, expanding, get a little bit of air in there. Once I've got the froth quality on, I'm gonna just take that tip down a little bit. And my shot's done. And my milk is done, I'm looking for 140. In temperature, 140 Fahrenheit, it's about 60 C. Always have a towel around to wipe your wand. Always purge it after, because as it cools down quickly, it's gonna pull in just a little bit of milk. You don't want that in there. So there's our froth quality. Maybe just a hair airier than I wanted it, um, but not bad at all. Uh, plenty of power on this. There we go. So there's our espresso looking beautiful. There's our milk. If you want to get try and get rid of some of those air bubbles, you can give it some taps, some swirls. You'll hear and see baristas doing this all the time. And then we're just going to pour that in the center. A lot of times, you know, you give it a little swirl like this. And I'm no latte artist, but, you know, if you practice, you certainly can get that. Who knows? You might get something here. 
Eh, a little little uh, ink blot, I suppose. But there you go. There's a 12 ounce latte made on the Elba 3. Again, really like this machine. A couple of the other features here. You got a cup warming surface up here, a sliding tray so you can add water to a large reservoir right in the back. That reservoir will come out as well if you want to do it that way. Um, I didn't even pay attention to the brew pressure here. Should be right, you know, between eight and nine bar generally. Again, it is adjustable. Um, the Chiato E5P, you know, if you want a great value and a decent grinder, the E5P, 64 millimeter flat burrs. That's when you're getting into some really good grinding with those. Now, I do want to take a taste of this. Mm, excuse my excuse my slurp, um, but there you go. A really big latte, uh, 12 ounce, 350, 360 milliliters, something like that, made on the Elba 3, a heat exchange machine, so the brew and steam at the same time. Uh, really a nice pair here if you really want to get into higher end espresso.